to incorporate all the ingredients, just mix them together. And then I can start with my so-called wet ingredients. So again, I'm just gonna put the peppers, the red and the yellow. Feel free to stop me if you have any questions, okay? I'm gonna put my onions and scallions. I like to use scallions just because, you know, it's kind of a West Indian thing. Onions and scallions. Or quick Caribbean. question, quick question in the end. Um, the peppers, how, how, how big? Is it tiny, tiny Everything pieces? is brunoise, like I do really fine, so. I make little strips of the peppers and it's brunoise, it's like really small because it's gonna be an appetizer. I mean, you can do it chunky, it's okay, but I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just particular, but Great. Small, Thank you. the small the better. Everything should be really small and fine. The same with the onions, as you can see. Like the scallions, I actually cut the scallions lengthwise and then I chop them really fine. The onions also, the onions are very and fine. And what onion is that? Yellow, white? Yellow is fine, white is fine. You could use a shallot. It's very flexible. And of course, the Pierre de Resistance, obviously, the Scotch bonnet. And also, this is cut really fine. I used about a half of a Scotch bonnet. What are some replacements for this? I think Veronica, you asked that earlier. You so could, I can use sriracha. You could uh you could use sriracha, you could use hot sauce, you could use a jalapeno, you could use a serrano, or you could omit it completely if you don't like spicy. Because as I said, most of the time I actually make this batter tonight and I won't cook it till the next day. So that'll really allow for everything to sort of you know get happy together. And 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 the longer it sits, the spicier it gets. So something to be aware of. And it's great for a party if you if you're planning because uh, for the party it's everything is last moment, and this right. you can do in advance and yeah. just fry yeah. it off. Exactly. Fantastic. So that's Fantastic. what I want you to sing for the international festival. I will do this recipe times four. So four cups of flour, four cups of fish, and then you know I'll, I'll use them really small so that they're like one biters and I can feed a lot of people. I'm just gonna get a little cilantro. I'm gonna cut that up. I don't measure anything. It's all eyeball. I mean, I gave you measurements and that will work, but I just go eyeball. So I have some cilantro. I'm just gonna ball it up. I like to do cilantro last because it'll get black. You know, if you cut it too far in advance, it will get very black. If you did it in advance, can you edit the following day so it doesn't get no, no, black? I, I like to chop the cilantro last and then incorporate it. It'll be fine. It's just that if it sits out at room temperature, sure. it yep. will turn black, Always just like does. basil. Always mm -hmm. does. I have some time. I'll cut up the time as well. I just pull the leaves off the thyme. I'm just gonna do a quick rough chop. And that goes all in. So it's very easy. You just dump all the ingredients in. Where's my egg? Thank you. So then I'm just gonna give this one more mix. Can everybody see? Can you guys see? Yeah. So I just have everything incorporated. Yes. And the thing about this, obviously with the red peppers, the yellow, the green, when you fry it, it's just, it's so many colors. It looks so beautiful. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you say chive or thyme? Can you use chive or thyme, you said? Did you, no, did you say, did you add thyme or chive? I add thyme, thyme. Oh. So now I'm going to, now I'm going to mix it. Now I have these ingredients incorporated. I'm going to go in with my sawfish. Okay, 
And so just mix everything together, the sawfish, the flour, everything, so it's all nicely incorporated. And then we'll go on with our wet ingredients. I like to have my milk. I use about a half a cup of milk. This one you have to really eyeball because I, I like to have, I don't want a runny consist consistency. I want sort of a, uh, I don't know. What's the, what's the thing I'm thinking? Like a pancake, I'm not a pancake, but like waffle batter. You know how waffle batter is like really thick? I'm looking for that kind of consistency, but you'll see. So I have my egg. And I'm gonna mix that in. A one-hander, wow. I was, I was just gonna say, I'm impressed. Ian, wow. <laughs> I, I learned to do that at McDonald's. I learned to do that when I worked at McDonald's. Whoa. That was long, just a so long like time ago. So I'm just gonna mix that in. And now. And uh, the rest of the wet. <laughs> the rest of the wet ingredients. And I'm just gonna bring it together. You see? See how colorful it is? See how beautiful it is? It's. Can you guys see? If I'm the speaker, I'm the speaker, right? Can you see? It's on my, it's on my view. So just combine all the ingredients. And, and you see, it looks kind of thick, right? It's not wet, it's not too wet. You can add a little bit more water, but I think that's good for me. Because as I said, I will leave this overnight and let it sit. And then, you know, onions will start to leach a little water. All the ingredients will start to leach a little water. So it's better to go on the drier side than the wetter. I'm gonna put just a little bit more. And that's it. That's basically your batter. As you can see, really colorful, right? You got red, yellow, green. It's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> black pepper. Obviously you don't need any salt because it's salt fish. And I'm generous with pepper. Pepper to taste. All right, so we'll put this to the side. I'll put together the, the dipping sauce and then I'll start to fry. Any questions? Any questions? Are we, yeah. oh, sorry, are we gonna do a deep fry or like a pan fry? I'm doing a pan fry. I have a cast iron here on the, on the uh, stove. I have it on medium heat. It's been heating for about 15 minutes and just a shallow fry. You don't need a deep fry. You can even do, if you only want to fry three or four or five at a time, you can use a smaller saute pan and that's fine. I have a question. Sure. You do takeout? Oh, takeout? You know, I Me guess. Me too. <laughs> sure. I mean, you know, that's how Din and I met. Din and I met in culinary school. We ran a catering business for several years. And I remember part of being in culinary wow. school, like we, we did a work study program. So you work in the school and then you get your choice of culinary or pastry. And part of the working, you'd have to assist chefs in classes, in classes like this, where you'd have students and you'd be, you know, whether it was steakhouse or French or Italian, so, so yeah, so this is, this is something we used to do all the time, post classes and, you know, eat, eat and drink. That's lovely. So, so I'm going to start with the sauce element, okay? The sauce element, I think you all have the ingredients. I, I gave a, a link to a particular sauce that I found at our co-op. It's uh this spread, it's a, I don't know if you want to zoom on that. It's basically a roasted red pepper with eggplant. It's a great base. So that's what I have in this bowl here. I have about two or three tablespoons of that. You could use- Where did you say you found it? 
it's at our co-op. We shop at the co-op in Park Slope, and I just stumbled across it before I found something in Fairway, also like a roasted red pepper puree. It's just like a vegetable spread. A vegetable spread. Mm -hmm. so, Trader yeah. Joe's has it too. Trader Joe's has an excellent Very link. similar. Yeah, I put a link in yeah. there. You can, you know, you can substitute. This is yeah. this is I'm something. Smart. Pardon? I'm smart. This is something that, so Din is always like the sauces, the seasonings. So this is something she put together for me. And then I just, you know, I just throw it together based on that. So again, the measurements are very loose. It's just, you put everything together, you taste it. Is it there? Yes. Adjust for heat, adjust for color. Anyway, so I have my roasted red pepper puree. In here, I have a little mayonnaise. I have some sour cream. I'm going to insert that. I also have a little relish, a little sweet element. This one I use sambal olek. Uh, this just roast, it's peppers, it's an Indonesian spice, very spicy. I love it. It's probably about two tablespoons in there. Sometimes I will use Jamaican, you know, hot pepper sauce or any kind of pepper sauce. And then I give that a mix. This is a spicy one a lot, but you can definitely just have a sweet one. Yeah, I mean, you could omit the spicy part. You know, you could use that base, mayo, sour cream, relish. creme fraiche, relish. You can embellish this any way you like. And then obviously, since it's seafood and you want it to sort of lift the flavor, a little squeeze of lime or lemon. In this case, we have lemon. I'll just start with a little to start because I don't want it to be too wet. Obviously, you make this in advance. It sits in the fridge. It'll seize up a little bit, and you can adjust the taste. A little pepper. A little salt. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to use a little sriracha, too. Because I want it spicy. And for me, that's good. And that's your dipping sauce. Okay, now the fun part, the frying. It's really easy. I usually use a little melon ball or scoop. I think this is less than a tablespoon. Sometimes I also use a tablespoon and then just a full tablespoon level and just into the oil. The same goes with the melon baller, the scoop, drop in the oil. So I'm gonna go to that now. You want to come over here, please? Will they see my... Yeah, they will see you if you come over here. Sorry, I'm going to have my back turned, but Din will bring her phone so you can see. Oh, yeah. yeah, you were just doing that. Yeah, oh, oh, I didn't get a switch. Just one sec. Perfect. Um, I, I'm pretty sure my oil is hot, but I'll check. Scrap something wooden. A little, you have to bring it up. Just a little more. Just Bear with me. Any questions? Any questions about the sauce? About the consistency of the fish? I just want to point out that everybody should be looking at Din's phone. Din is I one of the lot of fan. If you look at Din's um, video. Or, or her, her screen, rather, where it says her name. That's the close-up of Ian.
All right, I need a drink. I'm out. So quick question. If we like tartar squat, do you think that would go with this recipe or no? Say again, Maya. Tar tartar sauce. Did I say that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Would yeah. That go with this? Of course it will. Yeah. This, I mean, the actually the fritters can stand by themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't really need a dipping sauce. I just wanted something, you know, a little familiar. So people see a fritter and I'm like, oh, there's this red sauce. It's a red mayo sauce, Romanesco. Or, and you know, so yeah, it could stand by itself, not necessary. Yeah, sometimes I actually do, um, I like spices too, but then if I don't like mayo, I just prepare vinegar with a little garlic and salt and pepper. And it still, it works well with this fritter. I'm just gonna test it. Oh, nice. So I'm going to move over to frying now. My oil is ready. Can we see what the pan looks like? Yes. It's just a cast iron it's pan. Cast iron. I have a small one. And this is the same one I use. I like this pan. It retains heat really well. If I have it at max griddle or medium heat, it will really retain the heat well. Okay. And then just pop them in. Just a piece that you don't really overcrowd the pan as well. My pan is hot, so I'm trying to cool it down. That's why I'm putting a lot. Then as you can see, they're already starting to look golden. And they pop up nicely. So you just let them go. You turn them over, make sure they're golden brown. Yes? How long? I don't know until they're done. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's really gorgeous. We get golden brown you you're the, aiming for. So now you see the red peppers. So it, it oh really my gosh. To see, you know, the greens of the the scallions, the and then just toss them over, turn them over till they're all golden brown. Hey Ian, quick question. I may have missed it. Uh, what temperature did it, did the oil is your oil? Just like 350. I, okay. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, like 350. No more than that. Cool. Thank you. They look beautiful. And that's it. You just, you know, I have a little wire mesh yeah. right here to drain so that when they come off, and these are almost done, as you can see, the nice golden brown. And so these are one biters. You dip them in the sauce. It's money. <laughs> it looks fantastic, Ann. Thank you. It's usually a hit at the, at the festival. I think because the festival happens to be in January, so you want something warm or hot. So, Dinani, and we'd love to be able to post your video. Can you send it to us or send it to Paige? Certainly. Uh, Colin is recording. Or to Kelly or Jen, because uh, or or myself, because it's it's looking really good. And we it, love the it, whole community. It didn't start. What it didn't start. <laughs> we ha we had a few hitches earlier, so that's okay. That's okay. Since we gave the community your your recipes to begin with, um, that plus a, a little bit of a video, you know, it always helps. Certainly, certainly. Well, for the most part, we got it. My my te technical crew did not really get the memo on when to start the video. <laughs> I'll get fired as a, as a producer. <laughs> I'm just going to do another batch. Because this is dinner tonight, actually.
how many do you think you're gonna make? How many balls does that I batter yield? Um, it depends on the size. Maybe this batter will yield how many is there? Three, six, nine, twelve. Twenty-four. Thirty to forty. Because uh -huh. twelve, twenty-four. Yeah. yeah, probably thirty pieces. Thirty to forty pieces, depending on how large you make them. But I like one biters because. You know, usually when we entertain, we have several appetizers, so you don't want people getting full of just one. And that's it. I'll let those cook a little bit more. Let me just get a plate. We could garnish, uh, set up the uh, plate so we can eat. And there you have it. Codfish fritters. Roasted red pepper remoulade. I'll taste. <laughs> taste. Don't burn yourself. It's probably still hot. <laughs> For me, winner. And that's it. Oh, oh, wonderful. That is our weekend project. It just looks project. gorgeous. They look really delicious. <laughs> My mouth is watering. <laughs> Well, that's my weekend project. I think that's going to be Saturday. It's not so bad. I mean, like I said, if you do it in stages, it's not so bad. I think the chopping is probably the biggest part. The chopping of the vegetables, but Always I started at 5, I was done by 5.20. So, just to set all the ingredients up. Obviously, I've done it a couple of times, but definitely 25 to 30 minute prep time is more than enough time. Perfect for the Super Bowl this weekend. Perfect, yeah. exactly, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Who's, who's coming next? Uh, is it a Arepas tomorrow? On Monday. Oh, Monday, so no show tomorrow? No. We decided no Friday, just in case people had other responsibilities or whatever, but um, we have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and maybe Thursday. She's on the fence. She's got to rearrange things. Um, but it looks like we're we're pretty set for next week. And I, I I love this. I think we should do more of these throughout the year. We certainly should. I'm Agreed. all I'm, Agreed. We it's certainly should. It's been a lot should. of fun. Agreed. The kids right? loved it. Everybody's learning other recipes. And since we all can't be together, this is the closest. This is the way. This is the way. Absolutely. Right. Right. Anything else you want to add, Mom? No. You want to say any final words or parting words? Uh, Levi, you don't want to say anything? Somebody's soaking. <laughs> Hope you get it to try the recipe, guys. Um, it's it's not really that difficult. You can always send Ian a message for it. <laughs> if you want, I can pre-make the batter for you too. In this video. <laughs> yeah, and if you're willing you to try. It? You know, sealed. <laughs> Ordered the batter. But um, any other questions? Uh, anyone? Bye. We're gonna leave now. Bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for joining. Oh. No, thank you. Oh, I'll, send in. I'll send you a picture of my we'll fritters this weekend. Okay. Bye. Bella. Bye. Bye, it was fantastic. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.
Thank you so, so much, Dean, Ian, just fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Come back to follow. Oh, come on. You're doing your empanadas, Jamie. What's that? You're doing your empanadas, right? <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> no, you guys are great. It looked delicious. I can't wait to make them. Thank you. Enjoy your evening, Thank guys. You Have a good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Okay, we're going to pause. Huh? Yeah, yeah, stop.